I finally made my second build of NBA 2K25. Another 6-6 build, but this time built a little different. Yeah, he looks like a five-star middle linebacker that just ate the entire Waffle House menu. And that's because he weighs 232 pounds. But this build was purposely crafted this way. This is my new 1v1 build that can guard the one through five while still being able to dribble, shoot, and finish. And you're gonna see how this build matches up against six threes, six sevens, seven threes, and even top ranked post scores. So hit that subscribe button if you're new and let's get into some more details about the build and of course the gameplay. He's a they got my mom, they got hope your mom dies. No, not clamping up, nigga. I got a hide in. Good luck. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double H, back at it with yet another banger. Hey, drop a like on the video right now if you want a full build video on how to make this build or even how to make, you know, other versions of this build that you may enjoy. This is my 6-6 two-way sharpshooter. This is my 1v1 build. You see it gets legend, strong handle, set shot specialist, movable forcer, Hall of Fame on-ball menace, some gold shooting badges, a bunch of really good silver badges, it actually gets like every single badge in the game except for like layup mix master and i think one other badge that aren't post scoring badges okay so pretty crazy stuff but anyways i've been grinding the 1v1 ranked you know i broke the top 100 eventually i broke the top 50 as well and you're gonna see at the end of the video what i am currently ranked when it comes to the 1v1 ranked hey maybe we'll get in that top five y'all let me know but anyways it's time to head into the gameplay. Like I said in the intro, we're going to be showing gameplay against a bunch of different heights, okay? Because that's what we're here for. Can this def build actually defend every build when it comes to the 1v1 court? Because yes, this is a 1v1 court build. Now, this is a 6-3 red tier we're playing against. He has a 96 steal, 93 dunk, 94 three, 92 ball handle. So he can really do it all on offense. And he has a 96 steal. And he's obviously going to be a lot faster than me. He's 6'3". And it showed right there on that play. You know, he gets to the basket pretty easily right there. But I'm 232 pounds. I do have a 96 perimeter defense on this build. I do have some good defensive badges. But this build is also really built to defend post scores with the weight. But that weight can also help out on the perimeter when guarding guards. So right now, this dude's moving pretty fast. And honestly, he's cooking up. 5 0 now eight to zero i didn't really expect him to make two threes in a row but he did right there he's going crazy he's locked in he's a good player that's why he's a red tier and hey i'm a platinum tier so whoever i really go against in this 1v1 proving rounds is gonna be a good player because it's skill-based matchmaking anyways we finally get a stop force him to miss a couple layups i do have an 88 interior defense on this build and i am running a takeover called splash tower that boosts my interior defense and my three-pointer but look at this little crossover into the paint that's the easy lay see this is the advantage that this build has on these small guards i can bully them in the paint and look at that we can get to that rhythm shooter green y'all saw the jordan clarkson hop jumper right there that little you know move that i did and then we got into the step back with a three now he's playing really good defense right here i only have one adrenaline i'm trying to get to the basket use that legend strong handle but i have no adrenaline no energy but once again i got 93 strength so I can get into the paint, do a little bully ball, okay? And that's, once again, an advantage I can have on these small guards being 232 pounds. But look at it. the normal behind the back, the snatch back, could have shot the first one. I shoot the second, I miss. Now, if you see in the bottom left, it didn't show that I shot with rhythm. It's like a bug. So, I mean, the game made me miss that. I literally shot with rhythm shooter, uh, right stick, and it just didn't trigger that. So I don't know. But anyways, I almost got a good strip animation right there, but he ends up getting the layup anyways. And this dude was do good. He was getting shifty. He was moving fast. But we get a contest right there. Now, I don't know what a lot of y'all are going to say. You're going to say, oh, it's open. In 2K25, those opens are not, they're a lot harder than green than wide open. So I count those opens as a contest. But you see, we're getting Spider Man dunks on this build. Do have a 75 driving dunk, get into the basket, and barely getting that standing dunk to go. So we got our first lead of the game. Jordan Clarkson hop jumper into the snatch bag. That's green. Now, it actually wasn't green, though. I made a, I technically made a white right there. I half greened it with rhythm. Yeah, you can make whites with this rhythm shooting on this build, okay? There's a green right there. And the reason why you can make whites, even in proving rounds, is this build gets that legend set shot specialist. And that badge is pretty OP, okay? 
Anyways, we're getting to the basket. He played great defense. I just have to put it up. I missed that. I get the offensive rebound. And instead of forcing it back up immediately, I'm resetting it, okay? 17 to 10, snatch back, and I miss again. It's okay, though. It's okay. We're about in level four takeover. We've been playing decent defense. He gets to the basket, though, and he gets another dunk. So 17, 12, we need a stop, and he's getting to the basket easy. So I'm like, okay, I cannot give up any more dunks. It's 17 to 14. I got to stay grounded. I got to make him shoot after maybe dribbling a while, and that's exactly what I'm going to try to do on this possession, and we force him into a bad shot. That was literally a tight shout out to the 96 perimeter defense. He's already reaching. We're back on offense. Just need two more buckets to secure our win against this red tier in the proving grounds. Bang. That's another three ball. You're seeing a lot of my points are coming from threes right here, but it's game point. We need a bucket. We're snatching to the Zion dribble style to the crossover. Easy standing dunk. And we out of there with a dub shooting what? You know, not, not, not like crazy good. But we got the win. Okay, 22 points, 67% from three. But going into game number two, it is now time to bump up that height again a little bit. Now, these, these gameplays weren't in chronological order. So right here, this is when I was in gold tier. We're playing against a 6-7. He's a 92 perimeter, 91 strength, 89 midi, 80 interior. So he's like a 6-7 lockdown that can dribble and shoot. So he's pretty kind of similar to my build. But I don't know if y'all peep my top stats. My top stats are looking a little crazy. No cap. Anyways, back on defense, we start. And this dude's a post score? What? Bro is a 6'7 post score trying to drop step. Okay, let's see how that works out for him. Not good the first possession, but then he reaches and gets like a fluke. And that's his ball somehow. Whatever, okay? We're back on defense. Now, the last game, we guarded a 6'3 that was playing very different than this guy's playing. This guy's trying to post me up on a 6'7. He has a bunch of defense on his build mainly. And look at, I'm bumping him like crazy. Like, he is struggling getting to the paint. Guys, this was a 24-second shot, shot clock. Five seconds around the clock, and he finally gets to the paint and has to force up a very tight. I mean, that was completely boxed. Now, I have low energy getting on offense here because of all the energy I spent on defense. But we end up getting the layup to go. Okay, 2-0. to zero. Now, remember, this guy has a lot of defense on his build. He has a high steel, high perimeter, high strength, high interior, and he ends up forcing me out of bounds right there. So it's back to his ball. We only scored two points with the ball, okay? But look at me. I'm bumping him like crazy. He can barely even breathe. He can't post spin on me. He can't do nothing. Another Mike Wang, a very tight layup. See, that's not the build's fault. That's the game's fault. My build played great defense. I played great defense. We forced the contest we are looking for. Literally the best contest you could possibly get in this game. It's actually rare because that's how good of a contest it is. And he still made it. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Then he makes another light pressure. So, hey, the game's going to... 2K is going to be 2K. Okay. All I can do is just keep playing great defense. He shouldn't have any points right now. But back on defense, I get a block right there. A nice little chase down block. Do I have a crazy high block rating on this build? No, but it's enough to get the job done. He's trying to post me back into the paint. I'm still playing great defense and we force a miss. So we got the ball. I do have two way tenacity. And honestly, I like having two way tenacity. I don't know if y'all are a high enough level to get that, but I would get it because it's, it's good. I always make my three off two way tenacity like I did right there, but five to four. We need some buckets. Back to the step back. He's not respecting me. And honestly, he's playing a lot of fake defense right now. You see him running up, then running back down to the paint. He's not really playing fake D. He's just trying to get in my head. And honestly, I'm going to keep shooting it. But right there, once again, it gl glitches my rhythm shooting again. Look at the bottom left. It didn't count that as a rhythm shot when I literally shot with rhythm shooting. So I got a very late. But he's back to drop stepping it. And now he's on cold. Guys, I have a 6-7 post score. Cold. Because he is struggling that much to score on me. This dude is probably used to playing a bunch of guards in here. Drop stepping him for easy wins. Not against me. We're getting to the crossover. We're getting to the standing dunk. And now we have a 10-4 lead. Now you see, this build's not moving crazy fast or anything. And it's not supposed to. This build is just supposed to do a couple different things. Okay? Shoot the ball. Do what it needs to do when it comes to dribbling to get open. And then, of course, play lockdown defense no matter what kind of build it's going against. Because, guys, guess what? This build only is an 81 ball handle. So it's not going to be moving too crazy, you know? But it gets a, a lot of good dribble moves that are unlocked at that 80 ball handle threshold. I get silver dribbling badges. 
and it gets the job done. And look at the defense we're playing on post scores. I mean, this dude just shot a post fade. He never shoots post fades. He used, he's used to drop stepping every play, but he can't get to the basket on that build against me. And he also can't drop step me because I'm a big boy. I'm 232. I'm burly. They can't do it against me. Step back three. I miss, but it's okay. We're giving it back to the post score. This dude's cold. He can't get up shot up. He can't drop. He can't do nothing. The two shot, by the way, besides that shot that he just made right there, because I jumped guys, four of his six points are a very tight and a lightly pressure drop step. Like playing amazing defense. Once again, great defense. Again, force a miss, force another miss right there. I don't know if y'all have ever seen a post score struggle like this. He's probably never struggled like this. We almost have level five takeover. We have a huge boost of interior and three pointer right now. I'm super low energy, super low adrenaline. This is before I got 99 stamina on this build. So I was getting tired pretty quickly, but you do get more tired on these bigger builds. And we end up just completely getting a shot clock violation because we literally could not breathe the entire possession, but it's okay. Let's see what the post score can do. Let's have at it, buddy. Go for that drop. Okay. He does get the post fit. Now, it's not going to happen every time because I do get Hall of Fame post lock. But hey, we get in that steal. Now, y'all would be surprised how low my steal is. I don't have a high steal on this build. But to the snatch, two-way tenacity. Y'all already know that's automatic. And guys, this was early footage of this build. Like, you're going to see the badges pop up here. And I didn't even really have any badges. He probably post me pretty well there because I think I only, yeah, I only had silver post lock. I don't even have Legend of Movable yet in that gameplay. I didn't have Hall of Fame on ball menace yet in that game, but, but into the next gameplay, you can see this is when I was gold tier still. I'm platinum tier now. Now, this is going to be a short gameplay because I'm playing against a 610 and he's got post control. He's got midi. He's got layup. He's got dunk. I'm sure he's some kind of post score, right? 610. And this is just to showcase the shooting on this build for anybody that was doubting it. First play, no takeover. Wow. Uh, that is a tight coverage over a player that is four inches taller than me. And he ended up just leaving me wide open for the rest of this entire game. So we ended up getting some stops after I missed the second shot. Hit another three, he's leaving me open. We hit another three, so now we're three for four from three. He's leaving me open again. And we get another three. He just was literally testing me, just leaving me wide open. So four for five and three, he's just hoping for a miss so he can back me down again. And I eventually do miss, but we eventually get a stop. So I'm four for six from three. Now I'm five for seven from three. And he left me open for three. Literally the entire game, y'all. Now I'm shooting. I had a screenshot from Twitter. I'm shooting like, because you can see how well you're shooting on these builds. If you go into the theater of the park in the bottom right of the screen during the game, I'm shooting like 72% on this build, which is insane. And you're going to see in this gameplay right here, we end up going seven for 10 from three against a post score that literally just tested me from three the entire game. You don't gotta be scared to shoot with this build because it's gonna spark that thing. I got legend set shot specialist. I'm gonna shoot, but getting into this next game, we were playing a 7-3 post score. We're up and up the height again. We went from 6-3 to 6-7 to 6-10. Now we're at 7-3, guys. Now he's also platinum tier. He's a 96 close shot, 95 post control, 93 block, 93 interior. And if y'all saw the intro, it gets a little toxic with this guy, which is not surprising. I mean, most of these post scores are pretty toxic. But first play, we get into the crossover and I missed a open layup. 2K? Are y'all serious? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. We got the rebound into the snatch back, wide open three, and I missed. So this is just a horrible start to this game. Missed the first shot. But look at, we're rattling him. He didn't cross the line. He has to go back. I'm pressuring him. And we force him out of bounds. That's great defense right there. So we end up getting two-way tenacity, which makes me extremely confident on this shot right here. And we hit the shot. So now we're up three to zero after that stop. That was a huge stop after a bad start of the game. We get to the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper. He's bumping me though. He's playing great defense. He's forcing me to shoot just like all these post scores do. So if I can't get a two, I'll get a two, but I'm probably gonna have to shoot myself out of this game. And I'm already knowing that. So we hit another three. We're using rhythm shooting on every shot with this build. If y'all haven't already noticed, we're getting to the crossover. I tried to finesse in the dunker layup. It's just not there. I'm not going to force it. So I end up shooting a mid range. This build actually has a higher mid range than three pointer, even though I'm not shooting a lot of middies. So now we're up eight to zero and now I just force a bad shot. I thought I could get a standing dunk. It's just a bad shot, right? But 
it's good because now we can see what this build is looking like against a 7-3 post score on the 1v1 court now remember i am 6-6 which is not crazy tall i'm a big build i'm 232 pounds i got all these badges that are going to help me guard him first shot he's rhythm shooting close shots nigga, get off my dick nigga. <laughs> Yo, bro, get off my dick, bro. Like, you on my dick hard, bro. Like, you want it more than me, bro. Like, we're nigga shit. No, I'm not clamping shit up, nigga. I got a tight end, nigga. Good luck. Because you want to have a calm game. All right, bro. Let's have a calm game, nigga. You, on my, you over here on my dick. Jump. Nope. <laughs> Dumbass. I have a tight end, nigga. I have a tight end, ho. So this man, as a post score, went in the game chat and started talking crazy, which is one already insane, right? But he admitted to using a Titan, which is a Zen, basically make lets you green. It's a device that times your shot for you. So he's using a Zen on those little post fades. He literally admitted it. And then he said, I'm not gonna clamp him up. But then I gotta stop and he shut up. So back to the step back three, and now we're up 11 to six. He was talking crazy. So I was like, you know what? Let me really lock in here. Okay, he's fake stepping on the three. I try to get by him, getting a bunch of drill moves I'm not trying to do. So I reset. I know he's going to leave me open. So I just kept spamming the step back and I green again. And that's the thing against these post courses. You don't want to really do much when it comes to dribbling. You just kind of want to wait for them to make a decision. I wait for him to step down. That's another three. That's three in a row. Your boy is locked in right now after a slow start. 17 to six. We got splash tower takeover at level four. We're getting to the crossover. Lay. 19-6. Game point. He said I wasn't going to clamp him up. He said I was terrible to get. He admitted to using a Zen. He's on a 7-3 post score. Game point. Crossover. Hop jumper. Step back. Another step back. He's leaving me open for the right rhythm shooting. Bang. We out of here. Now, don't get it twisted. There are going to be games where I get dominated by a post score. Okay? Let's be real here. I'm not just going to only show you gameplay of me winning or dominating with the build. Because... We got to be realistic here. Post score is extremely OP in 2K25 and ended up matching up against this guy again. And he beat me. Okay. He's, he was using his, Zen. I mean, he was using a Zen though. Okay. He admitted to it. He's using a Zen on his little post fade close shots that he was spamming. So, I mean, what am I going to do about that, bro? I mean, he's literally cheating. Okay. But not only that, he was throwing me to the floor. I mean, he is 7 3. So, I, I guess. Right, it's gonna happen sometimes, even with Hall of Fame post lock. But I think in this gameplay, I think I had gold post lock. I don't remember, but I mean, he's just spamming that close shot cheese, and it's crazy because after he beat me, even he know he lost to me, and admitting he's cheating, and he's on a post score. I mean, how many times? How many things do we gotta stack up here? He ended up going game to game chat after this game and talking crazy. Your ass, look, look, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get out my trash ass, nigga. He's a uh yeah that post score is pretty toxic uh are we surprised no most post scores are toxic so on to the next game we're playing a top ranked post score but yeah he's shorter than 7-3 but i had to show this gameplay 7-1 he is i literally checked the boards after this game and this guy was ranked like number four on the leaderboards in 1v1 so I was like, yo, top rank this is the first and only top ranked player I have played in Proving Grounds. So I was like, yeah, I got to lock in in the first play. That on ball man is coming in clutch. He tried to self lob it, but we get the steal and we made him pick it up. That is a great start to the game. I have 2A tenacity. I know the post score is eventually going to leave me open for three. So I hit the Zach Levine step back, shoot it. And that's a green. Okay, how did I take advantage of the two-way tenacity? Always try to get up a three when I have it, right? Anyways, I'm being patient with this post score because I know post scores like to leave you open, but he's playing me a little higher than most post scores. So we get to the standing dunk, which is kind of a rarity against post scores. They usually just leave you wide open, you know, make you dribble a little bit, then shoot and really test that jump shot, okay? But he knew who I was, though. This post score did know who I was, so he was guarding me a little higher. Uh, he was actually a pretty chill post score. I'm like the other guy. I talked to him in game chat. Yeah, he was actually pretty chill. But five seconds on the clock. 
four, three. I'm shooting a deep one, and we missed. So he was actually playing pretty good defense. Honestly, I wasn't really looking to be as aggressive that possession. I was kind of just waiting for him to back off, and he never really did. So he's going in to the paint. I foul him under 16 seconds, which is good ball. So now it's like 14 seconds when he gets it, and I'm trying to pressure him, I'm trying to make it as, take as long as possible for him to get to the paint so he has as least time as possible to think when he does get to the paint. Maybe not even enough time to score something good like that right there. Like He had to go up with whatever he got off of that drop step, and he got a bad animation. So we force a good stop right there. That's some good IQ right there. That's some good post-score defense, okay? Five seconds on the clock. Or not five seconds, 10 seconds on the clock. We get back to that same dunk, and he blocks it. What a good block. I didn't want to go up immediately. Not much time on the shot clock. I'm going to the basket, force a layup. And hey, this post score is playing some great D right now. I cannot lie. So it's five to zero. He gets another stop. That's like back-to-back -back plays. I had an offense where I didn't score, which is not what you want, especially against top ranked post scores. Okay, now he's getting to the pass fake right here, trying to get dead zone under the rim. Then he like does this like emote. I don't know this 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 was cheese though he was doing that a lot in the game and every time he got under the basket which was what we call dead zone in 2k where like you're and we call it dead zone because as a defender you're 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 done you're, there's nothing you could do he's dead zone he's gonna get an open layup like he does right there and he kept doing it he kept pass faking as soon as he gets under the basket maybe even doing an emo where he puts the ball up or like a triple threat or whatever and it would just give him an open every time. So my goal now was do not let him get into the dead zone because if he gets into the dead zone, it's going to be a basket no matter what. Okay, so playing a D, he drop steps. I'm spamming X. I don't really get anything. He gets to the dead zone again. He gets another layup. Now it's six to five. I'm trying to get another stop. He's literally just standing here. I'm like, okay, what is he doing? He doesn't drop step. He gets into the dead zone again. Emotes layup open. Like I said, if he gets there into that under the basket area, there's literally nothing I can do. And that's what I started to realize after he was spamming this so many times in a row. Then he post spins me out of the way and gets a dunk. So this is probably what he does against a bunch of people. It isn't. So I have high strength. I have high interior. I have great stats for this. It just doesn't matter. And that's why he's doing it because he knows it's not going to matter. He knows that's going to be the highest percent chance of him scoring every play. And once again, he post spins me to the floor regardless of me I think even having higher strength than him but just because he's 7-1 he's going to get that animation so it is what it is he's back to the basket again he's getting into that dead zone area does the same thing pass fakes puts the ball up in the air I'm like bro I'm super close to him I gotta get the stop and finally I get the stop we were waiting for 12 to 5 get into the basket another big time standing dunk 12 to 7. We're looking for this comeback right here. We snatch into the three. That's a green. We're only down two points. You know, we spent a lot of time on defense. But now that we're on offense, we're looking to get out this game quick. Because obviously, it's going to take a lot longer for him to score than it is for me to score. So it's already 12 to 12. We were just down 12 to 5. We just scored seven points in a, in a snap of a finger. We're hitting him to the snatch back because I know he's going to eventually leave me. He's not, but he's playing high. And look at this. Oh, my God. That silver gold rise up, whatever I had in this gameplay is looking good. Snatch back. Overdose. Oh, my God. What a shot. 17 to 12. We're getting to the basket. That's a lay. And all of a sudden, it's game point. We can beat this top ranked post score with one more shot. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Drop a like on the video. Oh my gosh. Four for six from three. This build is nasty. It can guard a point guard. It can guard a lockdown. It can guard a center. It can guard a post score. It can guard any build in the game. On the 1v1 court. As long as you're locked in. Okay. If y'all want the build, let me know in the comments. I'll make a build video for it. Drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to a million subscribers. It's been your boy Henry, aka Double H. And I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. Oh, and we're number 29 on the leaderboards now in the 1v1 ranked. Hey, we might get in that top five soon.